Oh, after so many years, it feels good to lead again. Wait. No. No. It's finally happened. Oh. I don't know if I'll even be on the shelf anymore. Hello everyone, T-Man978. Today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Leader Class Megatron. Let's look at this box. We get that nice artwork right there. All black and blank right there with the Autobot logo or the Transformer logo nowadays. 15 steps. Megatron, and he has a bio. Let's see if I can read that. There was a time when the name of Megatron was honored by many across Cybertron, but power inevitably corrupts, and none are so powerful as the mighty Megatron. Long ago, he forgot he was a hero and became nothing more than a tyrant. The war he launched eventually drained his home planet of life, not even the death of the world could sate his hunger for conquest. And I totally missed the artwork here, which is probably on his bio card, or collector's card, I should say. Here's his collector's card. I was actually incorrect. This is a more G1 Megatron. A real G1 Megatron, where he turns into a gun. It's actually different from this artwork right here. Inside with this card is his stickers, or are his stickers, proper grammar. In inside the instructions, they actually, not on this side, right here, they actually tell you where they're supposed to go. Which some of them are redundant, like he already has a Decepticon logo right there, so why would you put another Decepticon logo? I guess maybe they're a little bit bigger. I don't know. Anywho, here comes Megatron himself. And he is beautiful. So, 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 so beautiful. Having owned the Armada version of this mold already, I thought I wouldn't be as excited to get this, but he's freaking amazing. Let's start with the head sculpt. That head sculpt is awesome looks like he popped right off of the show let me bring in masterpiece up i mean masterpiece megatron right now in my opinion this one looks way way better like the details on the cheek or cheekbones he doesn't have bones of course but the detail on the cheeks looks way more defined. Like, this Megatron has the same problem as Masterpiece Bumblebee. Where the lines are there, but they're not as pronounced as they were on the cartoon. And, like, this one, he has, like, black plastic right there, right there by his jaw. It's just so, so good. While we're looking at his face, he has light piping. Let's stand them side by side so you can see the similarities between a remake G1 Megatron and, well, actually, both of these are remakes, but you know what I'm trying to say. The dials on the stomach. Are very similar in the same septicon symbol placement both of them have things protruding off their back fusion cannon his knob is right there his knob is right here in this orientation but of course you know you can flip this around if you want to have a fireable missile but to keep with that g1 homage you got that. Or, of course, you could put it this way. 
but enough of this guy. For anyone complaining about Hasbro not putting enough paint on the Transformers, they aim to shut those people up here. Because his whole entire, almost everything you see that's silver is, is painted silver. He only has these little gray bits here. These gray pieces in the, the tank parts. Everything else is touched in silver. This is regular gray plastic. But even this, all of this right here is painted black. All that's painted black. You don't even, they didn't even have to do that. This should have just been regular gray paint, but they wanted to make it match up because in tank mode, that black matches up with this black. And you don't even see that because it's underneath of the, the tank. And even under here is painted silver. And of course, all of this is red in the back of his arm red right there that's red paint his face like I said is detailed different colors there the different colors here just looks freaking amazing let me get some more comparisons out here oh wait and they put this paint right here I want to make sure I mention that get some more comparisons out here before I go to tank mode. I figured it would be fun to show him next to some other Megatron molds. But of course this is Transformer Cybertron Galvatron. But he's in the Megatron color scheme. And he's actually covered in some shiny reflective silver chrome. Well not chrome but silver paint. Just like this guy. This is a leader class as well. He's significantly heavier. And has electronics and sounds that don't work anymore because the batteries are dead. Okay, next. Transformers Animated Megatron. Animated featured some of the shortest leader class figures we've gotten. I can't really tell, but I think they're... No, this one feels a little bit more hollow compared to, to this. He is a little bit heavier still. But you can see the similarities there because they're trying to go after a G1 look there to you a little bit. Especially with the color scheme and the fusion cannon. Here he is next to a Voyager class figure. He's next review. Possibly. Anyway, I should have just brought out Optimus for that comparison. Because this is going to be his nemesis, I guess. I don't know if Megatron's going to become... I, no, I don't, I don't even want to give any comic book spoilers. But any, anywho, next. I know I showed this off in my Armada review, but here's a Combiner class figure. Here's a Masterpiece Seeker, which makes me wonder, do I really want to buy those Leader Class Seekers? Because this is a really good scale right here. Now, this Megatron doesn't scale with... Masterpiece Optimus, but this looks good right here. I could put him definitely with my Masterpiece Decepticons. Masterpiece Grimlock in Dino Mood. I don't know if people would want him to be bigger. Well, Grimlock to be bigger or anything, but... Not so great in Robot Mode. Megatron is actually taller. Slightly. Yeah. No, they're about eye to eye. I would think Grimlock would be taller than him. And of course, this dude, Armada Megatron. I don't know how, but they almost feel like two different toys. <laughs> I mean, when you, of course, you can you can visibly see the similarities and and you can feel it when you're playing with them. But side by side, it's almost like two different toys. I don't know if it's a mental thing because of that color scheme being so drastic and the head being different. But 
Anyway, this one, I think his head is taller. And of course it's bigger just like I predicted in that privy right there. And it fills out right there a lot better than this. This one, his head looks smaller. But you can see the difference is in our deco. Okay, on to articulation. His head can look down that much, look up that much, which is really, really good. Shoulders go out that much. Rotate 360, go forward a little bit, go back a little bit. 360 at the elbow, bend at the elbow. 360 wrist, the waist. They can turn that much, and then you're gonna have to lift this backpack up so it's that high behind his head. Then he can get full motion. The legs can go out very far swivel at the hip but it stops here it goes up here before it hits that crotch plate but you can do things to get around that like lift the legs up there and then bend it when you're trying to make a good pose the knees bend this much and I just found out you can force this forward if you want them to get a Pose like this, where he's like leaning back a bit. Anywho, the ankles go up like that, and they pivot to this side a little bit, which doesn't really help anything. It helps a little bit, posability wise, but not that much. The gun, I noticed earlier that if you Put that like that, you can totally bend the cannon out to the side, but if you just want like a full on gun hand, I guess you could rotate it like this. I don't know if anybody will want to do that, but that's the thing. <laughs> I like his cannon to be like that. Anywho, let's go straight to transformation. Take this gun off, which I didn't mention yet. Of course, same gun as Armada. Splits into two separate guns. Put them off to the side. I got this panel already down. Bring this panel. Lift this chest piece up. Revealing, like I said before, that spark chamber that Beast Wars Megatron opened up to get Megatron spark. Open the scratch please piece, move that out of the way, bring the cannon down like this, peg this arm to this side of the cannon, which is apparently easier said than done. Okay, good. Now we can go ahead, bring these around, and peg them into the top right there. feet up and break the knee and bring these around like this uh, actually I was able to do this earlier but you have to transform these last peg them into the side right here Now I'll bring these up and under here. The scratch piece. There's two ways to do this. That's the official way. Put them inside of the grooves in his legs and extend this cannon. Put the guns wherever you want. And in my other review, I said these are gun gun ports but they aren't you can't really stick the guns in there I mean you could 
try to force it a little bit, but it's not going to stay that well. Now you can see his one, two, three, four mini con ports. The turret rotates 360. The missile fires. I found this out by watching somebody's review. If you push the turret in, he still has that missile firing gimmick right there. And let me just mention the person's name, MGO, watching one of his reviews. I saw this. It's a mistransformation, but it fits there perfectly. But of course it stops the turret from rolling. I mean, it's from turning. So you got to leave it here if you want the turret to be able to turn. Anywho, I really love this Megatron. I mean, this is my favorite purchase so far of the Combiner Wars line. Like, he is really amazing. I, it's just really good. That robot mode is amazing. It, is, it just feels satisfying. Like, look at all of this paint detail. Get the Decepticon symbol there. This little pincher thing that's on the other Megatron as well. It's just so much silver, so much paint. Like, and of course the treads roll. But yeah, if you can find this guy, definitely, definitely get him. I got mine from Hasbro Toy Shop. I used this code, FAMILY2015. Got 20% off and free shipping. So definitely keep checking Hasbro Toy Shop every day. Because it might be a while before you actually find them in stores. Let me do one more comparison of him and the other Megatron in tank mode. Here they are together in tank mode. You get to see their various differences. Like Armada's Decepticon symbol is here just like the original toy original version of Armada Megatron. This is painted in right there, where it's not right there. And of course there's symbol right there. And this one has various decos to make it look like the original Armada Megatron. That's not painted in right here like these things. Right here. And of course it being green and orange. And dark silver and purple but anywho that's that if you like this video please like share 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 subscribe until next time t-man 978 out of here